Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. Today I'm going to talk about the, well it's not even just this Halloween, it's the Halloween franchise I'm going to be talking about. So, the Halloween franchise is my second favorite horror movie franchise. <clears throat> and the reason why I love it is because, first of all, I love the horror genre. Um... But I particularly like the Halloween series, just like the Scream series, because while the first storyline, the first two movies had a story, um, and the first original two are really excellent, right? Really good. Classics. The third one was terrible. I don't know what John Carpenter and, and Deborah Hill were thinking. Um, Halloween 3 was terrible. Um, Barney is scarier than Halloween 3. And the story was just obnoxious about that movie. Um, thankfully, they got back on track with Halloween 4. And they continued the storyline from Halloween 2. And in this case... Um, Michael is in a coma, um, at the, at the very, very, very beginning, and, um, and, uh, Lori Strode was dead in a car accident, right? And she had a daughter who was adopted by the, the Strodes. So they do that storyline for parts four and five, and then, and even six, because six is a time jump, um, and uh, Lori's daughter is pregnant, or had a baby in the very beginning, and then they started doing some really weird stuff about um, Sam Hain or something like that, it was some sort of curse. Druid curse or something on Michael Myers for him to massacre his whole family and stuff like that. It got really, really weird. I like the curse of Michael Myers, but it's really, really, really strange. Uh, really weird, really out there. It was brutal, though. It was probably one of the most brutal of the Halloween series. Um, absolutely loved when Donald Pleasance was Dr. Loomis. Dr. Loomis is one of my favorite characters, and I'm glad that he was around for as long as he was to do those movies. And then for, let's see, Halloween 7 is H2O. And H2O was my favorite sequel. It was my favorite of the horror fran of the um, Halloween franchise. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis came back. Um, and it's a progressive story. Because um, Laurie Strode went into hiding as Carrie Tate, I think is what her, what her um, what her secret identity is. Um, she faked her death in a car accident. She became a um, professor at a private school, and um, she had a son. And this whole story. Um, and Michael Myers found out that she was still alive because he raided um, files about her from um, Dr. Loomis's nurse's office and tracked her down and it had Josh Hartnett in it. It had, you know, a whole bunch of great actors and actresses and stuff like that. And the story was really great. I think that they did an excellent job with each show. And I actually think that they should have ended that storyline with H2O, I think that that was a phenomenal ending, actually. A perfect ending to the, the franchise. And then they ruined it by making Halloween Resurrection as the last one of that storyline. Because there's three storylines to the Halloween franchise. Um, and they've ruined it with the Resurrection. They should have stopped... That storyline, if they're going to do more storylines separate, then 
they should have ended that one with each show. Perfect ending. They would have ended on a high note. It would have been epic. It was perfect. Um, literally. Um, and then Rob Zombie took over and did a reboot, remake. And his first remake was excellent. I really, 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 really like um, his take on it. I love how he threw a lot of classic stuff in there, but it came up with a lot of original stuff as well. And he came up with the psychological point of view of it and everything. And I really, really think that he did an excellent job with his first one. Um, he probably should have ended there because his second one, the one that followed his uh, remake reboot... Um, the first scene of that movie, during the hospital scene, is literally the only great scene of the entire movie. I thought that it was the throwaway movie, it was almost as terrible as John Carpenter's original third one, The Season of the Witch. Terrible movies. <clears throat> um, so then, Blumhouse... Uh, got John Carpenter back, Jamie Lee Curtis back, and the original My Nick Castle that played for the original Michael Myers back for um, this well, 2018 Halloween. And I had my reservations about it because um... They said that they were going to not make Laurie Strode his um, sister, Michael Myers' sister, and that it was going to ignore all the original sequels other than the very first original movie. So, obviously, my favorite was H2O. So, you have them ignoring H2O. Which I don't care about the rest of the movies as much as I cared about each show. You have them ignoring each show, and you have them um, making it so Laurie Strode is not his sister. And um, that's been ingrained in the public's head for like 35 plus years. So, um,. I was kind of upset about that, and um, I definitely had my reservations going into the movie. The only thing that really made me want to watch it was the fact that they got Jamie Lee Curtis, and I'm a huge fa fan. She um, is an amazing, talented actress, one of the best um, in the entire world. She's amazing. And um, John Carpenter was back. Uh, to do the music and everything, and um, Blumhouse is an amazing production company, and that that did give me faith that they were going to do a good job, other than the fact that I was a little off so, on them, their choices with how the story was going to go. <clears throat> that being said, oh, and they had the original Michael Myers back, which is amazing. Um, that being said, I went to the theaters and watched Halloween, and I loved it so, so much that I went and watched it two or three times, because it was an excellent movie. Um, first I took my mom to see it, and then I took my friends to see it, um, and... It was the most terrifying Halloween, and I really do love what they did with the story. I, um, so, now that I got their point of view on not making her his sister and everything, it really does add to the um, terror of it all. Because here you have a woman who's struggled so much about this tragedy that happened with this murdering spree that happened with her friends and everything. It 
it caused her to have PTSD and real life effects. It, it um, caused the failure of her marriage and her child to be taken away from her. And um, she had a little bit of a drinking problem, I think, but it was more realistic. And it, it made it more terrifying for him to be a random murderer that just loved killing people. It was scary. Him just going into houses and just outright killing people. Um, it made it more scary. Um, two of the scariest scenes was... Um, I'm not going to... I'm not a spoiler kind of person. But... I love the motion sensor scene, the light motion sensor, and the mannequin scene. Um, other than that, um, you know. But anyway, so they had three generations of Strode women in this. Uh, Judy Greer is one of my favorite actresses too, and I'm glad that she... I mean, I was upset that <laughs> she was cast as Laurie Strode's daughter before I saw the movie because she looked nothing like nothing like Jamie Lee Curtis. But she was one of my favorite actresses, so I can't um, I can't be too harsh on it. But it it it, it fit um, in the movie, like their um, their interaction and everything. Um, and I think that it was intelligently done. Probably the most intelligent of the entire um, Halloween franchise. I think that the whole house setup and everything was so nicely done. I think that the whole uh, third act was literally perfect. I think that it ended excellently. Um... Let's see. I love the pacing. I love the direction. I love, obviously, the acting because they had excellent, an excellent lineup there, obviously. The music was insane. I really, really, really loved what John Carpenter did with the composition of this one. He, he took the original and he really revamped it, updated it, and made it electrifying. And it was so, it was so awesome. Is so awesome. So I really, really hope that Blumhouse is the one that does any future Halloween sequels because they were supposed to film um, this Halloween with another one back to back, and <clears throat> they decided not to because they did change so much. So they wanted to see what the reaction was from the audience before they made another one. And I'm glad that this one was so successful so they can make more. And I hope that um, Blumhouse Productions does the next one because my faith is completely restored in the franchise. I think that they, they did the best possible movie that they could, and I loved it. And if you haven't seen it, check it out. It's an amazing Halloween movie, amazing horror movie. Um... So, um, yeah, this is a, this is a Halloween movie I'll be watching over and over. I mean, I have watched it over and over, but it's just one of those where you're always going to look back on it and be like, that was, that was an excellent Halloween movie. Um, and all the right people were involved, so... I can't wait for the next one. It's going to be freaking insane. I'm very curious to see how they're going to continue it because the way that they ended it, really, they could go any direction. But the story, they could go any direction with anything, really. So <clears throat> I guess we'll have to wait and see. So um, there's my review on um, the Halloween series and the newest Halloween and um, if you like my re review, if you love the movie, um, just comment below, like, subscribe, um, and until next time, guys.